G'day guys, I thought I'd do a quick video on um, these things here. Aluminium ingots. So I made a bunch of these last week. So I thought I'd do a wee video and explain uh, what I did and what my plans after. So let's get to it. So a while ago um, I brought an electric melting furnace from um, China. Costs about 250 US plus shipping. It's just a little one, probably used for uh, jewellery making and those sorts of things. So um, anyway, I uh, brought this with the idea of uh, melting down some aluminium. And because I work in IT, I go with what I know, and that is uh, hard drives. I got a lot of hard drives stashed in my, old hard drives stashed in my uh, shed. So I went about dismantling those, and um, that was really good fun and quite interesting. I got a lot of parts out of that that I'll be able to use in modelling, really strong magnets and the like. Um, uh, once I had uh, stripped them down politely, I then went about stick them, sticking them into the press. Uh, I have a 20 tonne shop press, and um, I just uh, tortured the poor hard drive chassis and um, broke them up into smaller parts to fit inside the crucible that I have. I then um, went to uh, do the melting. I hope I didn't void the warranty. The seals, some of them were broken but they were still intact. So um, yeah, I should get my money back on those hard drives for sure. PPE, safety first kids. So um, I got this face mask and these old welding gloves I've had forever. The face mask and these booty covers that I brought uh, from AliExpress also cheap and probably way over the top for this tiny little furnace. But molten metal should not be fooled with. So you know, it was neither here nor there for me to to purchase this stuff and uh, use it. The uh, furnace is pretty cool. You got a little thermostat thing there, and you you just get it up to temperature and and then you start putting your bits of uh, aluminium in there and in my case of course it was the uh, broken up hard drives and um, I just got bits that were about the right size and loaded up the crucible not too much, a little bit at a time just to, um, especially this was my first time using it you know I wasn't too sure how to use it but um, having that little uh, readout was quite handy because uh, I'd set it to a temperature and I'd load it up and then I could watch the temperature go down and then it would kind of plateau and then it would go back up once all the uh, scrap had uh, melted so um, I used that as a, a reference to know when to um, load up the crucible the um, I think melting point was 660 centigrade for memory for the aluminium so I had it 33 degrees above melting point and I'd load it up and it never almost never went back down below melting point so it was always just above and um, yeah once it got up to heat and I started melting the um, chunks of aluminium it, it went pretty quick to be fair and um, I, yeah really enjoyable it's like making a molten metal mud pies you know so I took off some dross here because uh, the hard drives have uh, powder coated paint on them there was a fair bit of dross on these things um, some warranty stickers and the, and the like that got me burnt off uh, so of course I had to de-dross this stuff before I poured the ingots and um, I just used a I don't know some tool I made up for that they poured pretty well. You can see here I've got, I brought myself three little um, uh, graphite ingot moulds and um, I'd just do three at a time. Uh, while they were cooling I'd just load up the uh, crucible again with the next uh, lot of hard drive scrap and then the, um, the ingots would pretty much just drop out of the, the graphite. And um, yeah, it was, it was good fun. I enjoyed it. And um, that, that's the stash of the day. Well, not the stash, the, what I've melted of that day. And that's what I've done so far. And that's uh, a mixture of um, 
hard drives and I also chopped up one old bicycle rim just to experiment. So you can see now I've got all these uh, ingots of uh, a lot cleaner uh, aluminium. The plan with these is I would like to d try and experiment with lost PLA casting which is something I've been watching a bit of on YouTube where people are printing positive moulds in uh, PLA and then making a plaster cast and then uh, melting the PA PLA out leaving a, um, a mould that you can pull the aluminium into and um, I'm quite keen to give this a go and see if it's workable for um, small parts for uh, RC because when you're making rat rods and oddball stuff like I do and Josh at RC every day and whatnot there's a, sometimes there's a problem with lack of parts so um, I want to try making uh, suicide axles and um, other things if you remember I made that um, uh, tunnel ram which can get off shapeways and that would be way cooler if I could do that in aluminium so you know this is what I'm up to with this I don't have a 3D printer yet it's a work in progress it's, uh, I've got a bit to learn there also so um, yeah watch the space there might be some videos on that coming in the future probably nothing anytime soon I'm just prepping at the stage and researching so um, yeah alright that's enough of this hope you enjoyed it something different alright catch us later